Hi guys and welcome. How are you all doing? How are you? How are you guys feeling? I wanted to show off today doing a video with some of the information I've been receiving uh, the last the last week week and a half, and it's about the energies that we are finding ourselves in, or more the 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 stage sort of that we're finding ourselves in right now and a little bit of what I've been receiving about what is coming. Um, as always I practice these types of videos uh, with a really important point which is use your discernment, take what resonates and leave the rest. This is what I'm receiving, uh, take what is beneficial to you, what is helpful for you, what brings clarity to you and what what can help you and, and assist you where you're at on your path. Uh, always come back to your own empowerment, your own resonance, uh, no matter what, what you're hearing, what you're reading from anyone. That's really important and that's one of the main points going forward. And I've said it many times before, so I know, I know if you listen to other of my, my videos, you've heard it before. Uh, but it's so so important to come back to your own resonance, to come back to what you're feeling, um, and and to use that discernment. Now that being said, one of the things that is happening in my experience, um, and what I've also been observing for for others, is that a lot of aspects, other aspects of ourselves, are I will say a whole new type of integration, um, whether that is parts of our sort of personality or our ways of being, uh, whether there are parallel aspects to who we are now in the human in this incarnation, whether it's so-called past lives, um, what we perceive as past because we, we live in this time-space reality. Um, and also other, all other aspects. It's like it's all coming in to one. Um, it's... Because I, I really find myself now when I... If I talk about these things and I... Where I normally would say I'm like... If I'm tapping into this aspect, aspect of me or if I'm tapping into this... Um, this part of me. And then I, then like that would be sort of the, the framework or the way I would, uh, would talk about it. Now it doesn't feel right because it all feels like me in a very different way. It all feels, it's almost like there's this expansion which now contains it all more and more. And what I've been shown is that more and more people will experience these kind of things which can the practicality of it can be suddenly knowing things you haven't learned this life there can be knowledges and remembrances from parallel aspects from what we call past lives of these these aspects of us that are being uh, like easily accessible for us, like suddenly coming back. It can be memories from another life. Uh, it can be memories of other aspects or where we're from or all these types of things. And, and really also ways we have been that no longer resonates and a new way of being because it's all interconnected. So when we are shifting our ways of being because we've been shifting beliefs, we've been working on our patterns, we've been releasing emotions, all these things, which is a continuous process. Uh, by, by no means are we done with all of that, um, because that's a, a continuous process always as we are expanding, there are new things that needs to fall off. But as we have been doing a lot of this work, um, and we're raising in frequency and we are expanding, we hold without having to tap 
into something we sort of just hold in our field and we have the access within ourselves in a very different way in my experience to these aspects and then these remembrances uh, can come and it feels much more whole it's a different way of feeling whole uh, inside or in the in the being because it's like we we're just expanding and we're containing more that we didn't even know that we were um, and this feeling of not only having the awareness of it because that's the first step so that's really the difference I'm feeling now that where we have started to gain awareness of it and we've been able to tap into it uh, or to feel it now it's sort of just like clicking into our being and it's a part of who we are it's not an aspect sort of outside of us to tap into i don't know if this is the best way to formulate it please ask me if, if it's not clear and i will i will try to to clear it up um there are so many nuances and this is a way, very new way of, of feeling it um because it, it feels really like it's over the last month like there it's been a complete shift uh in in that beingness in the remembrance and in 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 what we're holding for many um now in the time coming um and what i've been receiving of messages and, and what i'm feeling now energetically it's really like get get ready um, and I don't mean that in a way of feeling any stress feeling any fear because be really aware of when that is something that is triggered whenever you hear a message that that creates fear or creates stress start really ask like challenge it and, and ask yourself why why am I feeling like this why am I you know like and come back to yourself and breathe uh, because otherwise we will just be carried away away from ourselves instead of finding that presence within we always have the time to find a presence within no matter whether it takes five seconds of breathing whether it takes half an hour whether it takes two hours take that time always always that's that's your anchor that's your center that's the most important in the time coming. So when I say that the time coming feels a bit like now get ready to go. Now it's it's like you're you're prepared now. Just get your shit together sort of type of energy. Um, which means that also with all this deeper integration uh, and, and deeper remembrance I can say for my my own sake, I can in a very different way than I used to see my own completely through my own bullshit. And then when we do that, it's about not buying into it. It's about not continuing holding those beliefs. You know, having the same behaviors, um, acting in the same way without judgment, with a lot of compassion for ourselves. But really when it's something that doesn't feel resonant anymore in your life, whether it's a way of doing something, whether it's patterns, habits, whether it's ways of eating, whether it's your job, whether it's thought, um, thought patterns, whether it's a situation where you've always felt this way, but now it feels very different. Don't. Okay, so what, what, because now they're starting chatting again as I'm talking. Never go or have the awareness so that you don't buy habit by being used to feeling a way or doing something in one way or because things are, shift, are shifting and will continue to shift so rapidly now that be really aware to stay in that center and just whenever those old things are coming up just know that you don't have to 
dive into it. You don't have to be sort of seduced into it. Just really make those choices to not do that same thing anymore when you know that this is this doesn't resonate anymore but I just do it because I've always done it or this has been the way I've been doing it the last five years or the last however long we are ready to shift more quickly what needs to come in place is a belief system that can support it because otherwise that's when we can find ourselves in struggle with the rapid shifts. Whether it is grief, there's been a lot of, of fear and there still is and it's still a part of the consciousness that we will be clearing. Also a lot of grief a lot of anger and rage, these types of, of emotions and consciousnesses because it's really all energy and it has to be has to come up to be seen, to be released and cleared. Um, as these things are coming up more rapidly and suddenly in the collective, in the external world, remember to come back. Have a look at your toolbox and really make like a spring clean there. Take out what does not serve you anymore, what does not work anymore, what holds beliefs because this is also a big one. I know I made a video on it, maybe that's three or four months ago, on spirituality and a changing paradigm. Also the beliefs that are held in the spiritual community. A lot of them are shifting. So also the beliefs that you are just so sure about, so fixated on, so really not aware of that you're holding, question those as well. Come into, how can I explain this? So when you're present, when you're centered in yourself and you don't get distracted or you don't let yourself get distracted, you don't let yourself go too much off that center or when you find yourself off center, you use whatever tool you have and you use your breath, you come back to you. And from that place, you navigate, from that place, you use, you see what resonates and what does not from that place you make decisions from that place you take action and you express and challenge whatever is coming up that is a part of your old way of being your old thought patterns your old behaviors because it's going to shift rapidly now and the more we remember who we are, the more we contain within our own being, the more these old ways of being, these old beliefs are going to fall away even more quickly. But then we have to make the choice to actually let them go and not just keep on in the same pattern out of habit. Um, and be really aware of which stories you're telling yourself about yourself in the sense of what are you saying that oh i'm i just am like this i have always been this and this way uh, i can't do this and this i just don't have the ability to do this and this these types of things that you're constantly telling yourself challenge them every time you find a limit within your own thoughts, within your own pattern, challenge it. Ask yourself, how might that not be true? How would it look if I wasn't limited by this thought or by this behavior or 
by this way of thinking. Really challenge it. If it's something you don't want to bring with you. Because the more we remember and the more we become of who we really are, the more we are going to change. And the more the types of I have always just been this type of a person or I've always been this and this way or I always believed that or I always just looked at it like that. Those things are not really making sense in the same way anymore. So really challenge that. And practice feeling into the energy of whatever you're being presented with and also your own patterns, your own thoughts and beliefs. So from that present state, just being present and present and present and present, that's really the one most important tool in, that, in the time coming. Feel into the energy underneath both your own stuff and the collective stuff in order to not be deceived into anything. Not in the type of energy that is just like sort of negative towards everything and just, you know, just pushing away everything, but really in that open present state within yourself, breathing, how, what is the energy underneath this? What is how does it feel? Does it feel like an expansion? Does it feel open? Or does it feel like a contraction? Does it feel like fear? Just does it feel like something that will, you know, just pull me into something where I don't really want to go? Because from that place you can discern. From that place you can make your own free choice. What will help us the most is to not hold back. To really commit and go. So what I've been feeling is that July will be uh, for the most part a bit up and down like it and a bit more on an, an, um, an individual level in the sense that we will really face our own things um, more rapidly and these are things that we have you know, that are, that are no longer resonant in our being, that are not, no longer resonant with the frequency that we hold in our bodies. And it's also in order to be prepared for what is coming. So it's sort of like a, you just cleaning out and cleaning out and cleaning out, just let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go. What I keep saying is that don't to think of this as like, oh, I'm going to go into this cave, I'm just going to not do anything, I'm not going to miss out on, on this. It's not, uh, I mean, by all means, if you if you want to go into a cave, you do that. It's, it's not that, but it's be as much as you can in joy. Express your joy, be you, and by being you, by being who you are becoming, by being all of who you are in all aspects of your life, then from that place you will find what is no longer resonating with that new part of you. And then you can just let it go. You feel what comes up, you choose to change those beliefs, and you just allow for the change to happen. So it's more about being open, expressing your joy, being in your joy, really, really getting clear of where you're limiting yourselves, yourself in your thoughts, in your ways of being, and challenging that. Because as time, things are speeding up, what I've been shown is, and I mean, time is always a bit, difficult but how it looks to me now is end of August till end of November approximately uh, is going to be quite intense um, and this is why a lot of people now in the period leading up to it will be clearing 
these types of things that are holding them back and really get clear on what they're choosing to really commit because of what we are going to hold and what we are going to be in what is coming um, and to really hold that new energy to really let ourselves be because there's nothing as inspiring for others in my perspective as seeing other people just living who they are to see other people being happy to see other people going beyond their limits to just shift those things and to really be in that joy to really express to really just be and the more we can come into that the more we will also help the collective the more we will also be able to stay centered in whatever is going to unfold uh, and the more we are ready for more awakenings because there's going to be a lot of awakenings in this period is what I've been shown quite some people transitioning uh, quite a lot of walk-ins have been shown um, so it's going to be a very different type of energy to be in uh, and that's why we really have to go with these changes and really allow to breathe to be in joy to embody to just step into to ground be in nature allow go through whatever process is coming up in the present moment don't go look for anything because the more you are becoming who you are the more you are containing within your own field the more you are remembering the more you're knowing the more you're feeling the more you're inspired the more these things are coming up the more you will also be aware of the beliefs that are no longer serving you the beliefs that might not be true the thought patterns that are not supporting you anymore the addictions to distractions no matter what shape or form it takes these things will be really highlighted now because we are clearing it because we are shifting so quickly and because we are being prepared so instead of going with this type of fear or stress or what oh my goodness what is coming how is this going to look am i doing something right and you start doubting yourself and you start stressing and you start feeling in fear and you don't know where to look if you come into that type of energy just come back come back to you breathe and know that the more you you are the more you express yourself when you want to the more you can be in joy the more you are just in nature you're doing the things you love doing and you're just allowing for whatever is coming up when it's coming up to actually be felt and to come through you allow those beliefs to be seen without trying to get away from it or you know just keep it there because it's easier or it's just a habit or whatever you just push it away and you change it because it's really easy now it's so more supported than it has been um, energetically because we are in a higher frequency the more we do that the more we will see what is coming the more we will feel where we're guided the more we will feel our own inner guidance and that's the most important guidance you have always always so come back to you breathe use your tools whenever you feel you're thrown off balance have compassion for yourself and and enjoy every moment that you can enjoy and just feel through 
whatever needs to be felt through in the moment it's coming up. Then you're on your path. And that's where, they're saying that, that's where we need you to be. Um, so whenever you get yourself on the hook of, oh my god, I don't know if I'm doing this right, if I, what am I going to prepare for, what am I, and you get this sort of stress, come back. Because you will feel your guidance from there. You will feel your own resonance and your own discernment. Much more than whatever you're receiving from the outside. There's nothing wrong about receiving something from the outside or guidance or assistance of, of any sorts. But it's very important to always come back to yourself. To feel whether it resonates. And then to take action from that. I really, really hope this is helpful for you. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And also I love reading your comments with how you're experiencing things. Uh, it's, it's really, really lovely to see your, your interaction there and to read the comments. Um, Please share and, and like if it helps you, if it resonates. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Um, take care of yourself and remember to love. Bye bye.